guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be setting up my new journal for 2021 so let's get straight on with the video so the first page is going to be obviously my title page so what i planned is a really really simple page so what i'm just going to put is loading in bubble writing and then 2021 and then like a loading bar and underneath i'll put 99 percent i do not know what was going on throughout this entire video but my face was so close to the notebook. I looked so stupid. So, sorry about that. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Also, to make matters worse, I am left-handed. So, you couldn't see anything I was doing. So, I'm just going to include some smaller clips of me actually doing things in my journal. And the rest of it is just going to be the progress clips. Because you can't see anything. Oh, <sighs> why do I have to be left-handed? Anyway... That's it for me. Back to the video once again. It might not make that much sense right now, but I promise it will when I've done it. Let's just get straight into it. This is what I have so far, so now I'm just going to outline everything that I've done. I really love how it looks so far, but I am going to add a little title at the bottom saying 2021 journal, I think, because I don't just want to leave it like this because it's really blank. Okay, this is what the title page looks like. I really love the B that I did at the bottom of the page. Then I just stuck some gold washi tape at the top and the bottom of the page. So I'm really happy with this. I think it came out really good. Okay, onto the second page. Okay, I just got my ruler and the next page is going to be the year in pixels page. So I'm just going to draw out a giant grid down the side of the page and every single day of the year, I'll be coloring in a little pixel to represent my mood. So, let's get straight into it. I think this page is definitely going to be the hardest out of them all. Okay, this is how the page has turned out. I was really expecting it to go wrong and me have to start it again, but it didn't, and I'm so happy with it. So yeah, let's go on to the next page. Okay, the next page is going to be the savings page, so I can keep track of how much money I've got. So for this one, I'm going to be doing a similar design to what I did last year. So I'm going to be drawing a jar of money and then putting the amounts up the side and then just colouring in the section whenever I've earned that much money. Okay, my camera just died, but I put my other battery in it. But I finished this page off camera. This is what it looks like. I'm really happy with it, especially the title. I really like how I've done that. And then the jar is just really simple at the minute. But when I reach these goals, I'm just going to be colouring the boxes in. But that is what this page looks like. Okay, the next page is going to be the books read page. So I'm just going to put a simple title at the top and then fill the page with a pile of books and then inside those books I'm going to write which books I've read. Okay this was a really simple page as you can tell but this is how it turned out. I did like mess up on this bit but I told myself that if I got to the end of the page and it still looked bad then I would do it again but I really like how it turns out so I'm not going to worry about that. Also there's like a smudge right there I don't know how that happened but that is okay we're just going to pretend that is not there. Okay, the next page is the Movies Watched page. So I'm going to actually do this super similar to how I did it last year. So last year I made the page into a bag of popcorn and put pieces of popcorn all over the page and then I wrote the movies that I watched inside the pieces of popcorn. Okay, this is how the page turned out. The only thing that I think I might do off camera 
is just outline the popcorn bag. But other than that, I really, really like this page. One thing I have done different than last time is I've actually shaped the popcorn like popcorn because before it was like this, like little clouds. And I realized that it looks a lot better if I do them like this. So they actually do kind of look a bit more like popcorn. So I really like how this page turned out. So the way I'll be using this page is whenever I watch a movie, I'll just write it in here and highlight it with yellow so it kind of looks a bit more like popcorn. Anyway, the next page is going to be another simple one. It's going to be Places Travelled. So all I'm going to do on this one is write the title, maybe a little doodle of an aeroplane, and then just write some bullet points. Okay, this is how the page turned out. It's very simple, but I still love it. Okay, now we're going to be moving on to the January spread cover. I'm just gonna leave this design as a surprise and let's just do it. Okay, here is the finished page. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. This is definitely my favorite page so far. Okay guys, that is going to be it so far because I think I'm going to do the January spreads off camera because this is kind of a journal setup and I've done everything there is to set up the journal. That is going to be it for today's video guys. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join the family. I post every single Friday. Also make sure you click the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Also make sure you go and follow my TikTok and my Instagram which is linked in the description below. That is going to be it from me guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!